All right, what's going on, guys? Mine is one good one. Welcome you back here to my channel, and back to Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. It has been a little bit since we've played this. Let me tell you, man, it's been good. So, since the last episode, we have made our way through the Honey Marsh. That was the last video I didn't want to be sure that I was right on that. I had to think for a second. Made our way through the Honey Marsh, getting that one 100% completely. We had complete BS during the one race. And I should have won the first time, but no. Anyway, now we're on to the Monkey Monastery, I suppose. We only have three more levels left in this game, and then we're good to go, boyos. And I actually do already have planned out exactly what I want to do next, after this. Which I actually potentially may have three games I'm thinking of doing after this. I already had the idea for... I was going to do the... It's The Legend of Pirates Online, which is a remake of the Pirates of the Caribbean Online game. I decided against that because I've kind of been playing it a ton of my free time, and I know I'm going to get bored of it if I try to record it because I've been playing so much free time. But, uh. So, okay, Spyro, you're not properly on that. So, what I'm going to do instead is that my buddy has a uh, game shared his library to me on Steam. There's a few games there I would not mind playing. So, I'm going to record videos in those few games I'm not going to mind playing. Which, you know, there's a. Tell you this, one starts with C's, the other two start with D's. Uh, the first two are the C and one of the D's are pretty freaking old. The other D came out just last year. Hello, Senor Monkey. Let's unbalance Rip Talks with a video of our sacred monastery. Of course, we practice divine compassion, so we really can't involve, so we really cannot get involved in anything violent. Uh, Sparks. Buddy, where'd you go? So I need to remember that I started this level off with 4,600 gems. Now the very first thing that you glide onto is already 75. Out of, I think, 900 in this level. Yeah. No. Uh, it's either eight or nine hundred. This might be the nine hundred level. There's going to be two levels that are eight hundred. One level that's nine hundred. Okay. I'm kind of chilling out right now, man. I'm trying to get myself some gems. Also, kind of sad that uh, I currently don't. Did I just get gems from the one barrel twice? I could totally mess up the game count if that just happened. That could actually mess everything up. One little gem. So that's interesting. Uh, I hope nothing goes wrong. Take it I need a key for that that I don't currently have. So I'll see you again later. Little box. Little chest really in my box. It definitely seems like it'll be another easy level. We're four minutes into the recording. We're already about a fourth of the way through the gems. We already have one of the dragonflies. Yeah, four minutes and we already have like a quarter of the gems. I think I said half the first one, meant a quarter. Oh, ice physics. Uh, get some tight turnage in, yo. Oh shit, I should be killing these things so I can get sparks back. You! You were in an old game. Okay, well, brilliant. Okay, I guess I'll talk to this guy. Well, okay, he's not the one that. Yeah! Bartholomew! Now you heard that Giddy is scary monsters. But we are peaceful. He told he was in Spiral 3. We live here in this once peaceful realm. The true monsters are the Riptox. And they have taken my kind and imprisoned them. And Ice, can you save the five Yeti with your flame breath? I do believe I can, Bartholomew. 
Okay, cool. I just have to run into him. Rip. Sorry, Sparks. I'll catch you another time, buddy. I actually want lightning breath. There you go. Uh, uh, okay. I was expecting, uh, Sparks to do some stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have Sparks, and then things kind of started to go badly. We're already about a third of the way through, guys. This is going to be a very, very quick level, let me tell you. Ow. Okay. No, it won't. I got killed. Corn gets sent back to the very beginning, I'm betting. Yep. Oh, this game is so crap with checkpoints. I hate it, man. I like the game, but my god, they need to get checkpoints in here. Come on, I'm already a couple minutes into the level and there's just no checkpoints. So it's like every like two minutes in Spyro 3 you'd have a checkpoint. And yes, I will absolutely compare it to other Spyro games because it's kind of fair given that it is a Spyro game being compared to a Spyro game. Yes, I shall proceed to do said. What? Cool. Okay, fire breath. Apparently you can't use electric breath in this guys. I thought it would just affect him the same way. Nope. Flame breath it is. What? Yep. Okay, it's a cannon over there. That makes more sense. I realized that uh, over there was a cannon. Excuse me, sir. Put that gem. So they have a little weapon, then you can flame breath them. If they have a shield, you have to run into them. Oh god, I recognize this sound. That's also an old Spyro game sound. That was in a totally different level. Well, that had a really good song to it. I believe the turret behind it could be used for a very useful weapon for you to use on your quest. We use it for annual snowball awards, quite an event. Although we are non-violent people, we do have our vices. Perhaps you might want to glide over there and try it out. Yeah, non-violent people. Gigantic snowball cannon. Anyone else seeing a problem here just a little bit? Come on, 22 lives. If you get a game over this, and I'm impressed. Oh wait, Yeti. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm trapped in ice. Nice. I think we just use this and then. Oh, where do we go? Sweet. There's oh. one for a Yeti. Wow, I like the core, but I don't like it that much. I'm gonna get this checkpoint first. Excuse me, Zoe. Did you get me? Yes, you got me. Girl. Yeah, really got me now. Yeah, got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I thought that the ceiling of that cave was like another walkway to go down. I'm like, frick, I missed it. Nope, I'm perfectly fine. This is super sketch. How about the fact that we already have over 400 gems in this place? Holy frickin' crap, dude. It's a lot of gems for being, like, you know, hardly any minutes in. Like, counting time that it took us to walk here from the op like from just the starting area, it's been nine and a half minutes. And we take a minute off of that for an estimate on how long it would have taken me to get here from the home area. Uh, just kind of think about that. That's like not even nine minutes, and I'm already like over halfway through the gems. I'm already a fifth of the way through the dragonflies. That was freaking fast, dude. I don't remember it going this fast in three. You're the dragon. That's how it's actually the actual name for it, not just Spyro 3. Done. 
It's actually far near the dragon. But yeah. Pretty much just gonna be a very quick level. Oh, I gotta run for you. Sweet. Lots of gemage. Jabonzo, yo. Okay. Onward, we move. We march. Join in the fight. We'll allow you to be free. Join in the fight that will let you be free. Not the actual lyrics, but I don't remember what the lyrics are. I was kind of close, I can tell you that much, man. Help, Spyro! These flying rip talks are a menace! I think they're guarding the Yeti's trapped within the ice here. Can you help free them? Can you use the turret to help free them? There we go. Boink. Boink. And away we go! A little bit ahead on that. We go. And away we go. I don't know. We go, away we go. Whatever I was saying at that point, it's a little bit ahead, I can tell you that much. Okay. Going. Ow, punk. I totally ran right into that. Not gonna lie. Okay. Frickin' punk. Die. Buddy. Not a fan Oh, beautiful. Cool. Two more. I was kind of shooting. Oh, wait, die of these flame breath in order to save that guy. be over here soon enough. Well, can they eventually get to a spot where I can shoot at them, or what? Like, do these guys just not get into a spot where you can shoot? I guess they don't get into a spot. Oh, because I have to go in that lower turret, must be. Ooh, there's an ice thing right over there. And there's a challenge portal also. Cool. Spark, what you got for me, buddy? That was great. Spark, we completed the challenge and released the dragonfly. Very nice. There's also a uh, Yeti hidden in the ice over there. So I'm going to have to go hop over there right quick. First of all, I'm killing that guy so I can get a little more health. Reach the top of the spiral and go. Pokemon go. I play Pokemon go every day. It's a good thing it came along when you did, Dragon. Uh oh. Okay. Going back this way. Well, cool. Full health. Shoot, I lied. I want to go a different way. Uh, I don't like. Uh, I can just, you know, glide over past the platform and all the way through. No, I can't. I have to go up this way first. Maybe I could have made it somewhere, but I really wanted to be safe and not risk anything dumb. Drop down here this way. What is this gonna do? You. Oh wait, ah, it'll break that ice over there. Shoot, I'll have to head back over there sometime. What are you saying, buddy? Well, that was more than I expected, but uh, thanks. Cool. You're welcome, buddy. It's my pleasure, because I'm the one getting a dragonfly out of it, most likely. And there's dragonflies involved, I'm there. 
Ripto knows that by now. I am gonna save all the dragonflies. Every gem, every dragonfly, every everything. Can I just point out the fact that, uh, we hardly have any reason to collect gems in this game, honestly. Moneybags has been used, like, twice? No, I think just once. I think in the Dragon Dojo and that's it. Those like, he just hardly ever used. Me off cards, Gunther! Many thanks for your help. Muchos gracias. Even though gracias means thank you. Oh, so that means that graciar means to thank? Ow! Oh. oh! No. Well, no, because that would mean you thank. I think gracias is just thank you, period. That's not even for a dummy. Oh, let's see what we're going to be doing now. Oh, shoot, my Magikarp's training points are maxed out, man. Oh, God, man. Shut up, Pokemon Company game. What? Oh. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Was that a portal back to the beginning? Or, that was a portal from the beginning? What? Oh, shoot, man. That's gonna mess up stuff for me. I hope I don't have to shoot that ice out again. Because if I do, that's gonna be lame. Oh, my, my Magikarp's leveled up. Oh, shoot. Got to travel through the entire level again. Well, that was a dumb move, let me tell you, man. So, a uh, pro tip, when you get to the end of the level, for the love of God, don't be an idiot like me. And one of that portal, which looks like a challenge portal, you'd think it would be a challenge portal, Nope, it's the portal out of the frickin' level. I really hope he doesn't expect me to get those Yetis back again. Oh, sweet, it does not. Okay, I hit... I hit circle. Just be in my controller, it'd be actually circle on the PS2 controller if I was actually using a PS2 controller. Uh, Oh, I looked down for just a couple seconds, you punk. Oh, shoot, I forgot, I can't freaking. So dumb. Ah, they don't give you any way of really telling except for that stupid little shield. Normally it's like, oh, it's a big enemy. You can't charge into it. Or, oh, it's one of these like, little mammoths. You should not be able to charge into that. That wouldn't make any sense. For here, it's just, oh, he's got a shield. Electricity probably works fine on that dude, but, uh. Whatever, man. I'm just unhappy because I did a dumb. I'm not really blaming the game for doing stuff, man. That was all my dumb. This is totally not how you're supposed to go over here, is it? Or no, maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, sweet. My magic carp had great effort. It JP went up by 310. Am I supposed to be going over here yet? Is this a bad idea? I have no idea. Well, this must be a challenge portal then. Super out of the way. It's a dead end. This is definitely a challenge portal. So now we get to see what we're going to be up against. Ah, oh, cool, we're getting a nugget. I'm just playing that little Magikarp jump game thingy. Because why not? Something to do. Oh god, are we... The Riptops have invaded our land and are constructing tort factories to destroy the monastery. Okay, do you think you can destroy all the Riptop factories with this Spitfire plane? Absolutely, Mandy. I got this, don't worry. I'm gonna spam all the buttons. 
mostly circle and axe. This is actually really easy. You just spam both buttons. Fly around. As long as you can find all of them, you're perfectly fine. Okay, I'm guessing that hopefully over this way is the last one. There's one. And there's the last one. Perfect. Another great effort. Good job, Magikarp. Great job, Spyro. Here, I found it. Sweet, another easy dragonfly. This honestly could have been a beginning level at this rate. It doesn't require any special breath, really. Keep her going in the factory, so feel free to destroy them anytime you like. I'm good. Okay. But like later if you can help us out. So like you have like you only really need the fire breath for this level. You have really easy to find uh dragonflies. Like I feel like it's just it seems so weird for being so late in the game that like it just doesn't really require much, honestly. I think we should probably end this one off soon, though. We're pretty far in. Okay, so let me see. How far are we overall? We need six more dragonflies and another hundred and... Uh, what, 51 gems. So, I'm thinking that, uh, for now, let's end this video off. So if you guys liked what you saw, then as always, maybe subscribe, leave a like or a comment. Maybe you're enjoying the videos a little bit and you're excited to see the end of Spyro enter the Dragonfly. And as always, my friends, mine is one one and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay, I told you to end the recording. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Okay, see you guys. <laughs>